right, guys, here we've got Monk and Chamber of Secrets. It's again a problem to get you acclimatized to stacks and queues, uh, more queues in this case. Let's see what the problem has to offer. Hagrid says, follow the spiders. Yeah, you can read this. This is all filler, just building up the problem. This is where the problem really starts. You've got a queue of N spiders where only X spiders are to be selected. Each spider has some power associated with it and there are X iterations on the queue. In other words, we've got N spiders in a queue. Every iteration, we've got to select the first X spiders. Now, what do we do in that iteration? Let's see. In each iteration, the first X spiders are taken out, are dequeued, and the one with the maximum power is selected. The remaining spiders are put back, but their power is decreased by one. So we take the first X spiders out, we select the one among those X, which has the maximum power and we remove it. The rest of the spiders become weaker. Their power reduces by one unit and we attach them back to the end of the queue. If at any moment the power of a spider becomes zero, it can't be decremented any further. And finally, if there are multiple spiders with the same power, then the one that comes first in the queue is selected. Now, finally, after each iteration, there are X iterations. After each one, we've got to print the location of the spider we've removed. Let's have a look at this array right here. Six, five is our input. Six is the length of the array and five is X, the number of spiders we have to select and the number of operations we have to perform. So first, X is five. So we select the first five spiders. One, two, two, three, four. Four is clearly the maximum spider. So we select it, we remove it, and we print its location. That's five. Now we've also got to reduce the power of every other spider by one. So the remaining four spiders in the queue, that's one, two, two, and three, get reduced by one. So that becomes zero, one, one, and two. Now the array only consists of five. So we add 0, 1, 1, and 2 to the end of 5 to get this array right here. Now we repeat the same process. We select all of these. 5 is clearly the maximum spider. And in the original array, we've got to print its location in the original array, not in the new array. In the original array, its location was 6, which is why we print 6. We remove that spider. We decrease everything by 1. 0 can't get reduced further. 1, 1, and 2 become 0, 0, and 1. Now our array is 0, 0, 0, 1. If the number of elements in the array is less than x, we're going to consider every single element. 1 is the maximum number here, but 1 has been reduced two times. In the initial array, its value was 3. That is this element right here, which is why our third output is 4. Then our array is going to be a bunch of zeros. So the last two elements are 1 and 2. First, we've got n and x simply to read the input. And we read the input array as well. Now, we've got to make sure to preserve the position of each element because we're going to constantly update it. We're going to constantly reduce the value. The position is what's going to tell us where it's present in the initial array. That's what this right here does. A is going to hold the value along with its location in the initial array. Y of zero is going to hold that element's value. Y of one, its location. If M of zero is less than Y of zero, what do we do? We assign Y to M. We're essentially selecting the maximum element and we're preserving its position as well. Following that, we reduce Y of zero. And if it's already zero, we can't reduce it any further. We put this into our new array. Our new array is going to consist of every single one of the k elements with the largest element removed and each of its values reduced by one. Now we print the location of the element that is to be popped. We remove that element from new and we append that to the end of our original array. Let's see if this works. A sample has been passed and when we hit submit, Every input has been accepted. Guys, that's the solution to Monk and Chamber of Secrets. If you suffer from arachnophobia, this might not be the problem for you. Actually, it might because you're eliminating the spiders one by one. So make sure to hit the three buttons that pop up and make sure 
to leave your comments down below. I'll see you all in the next problem.